Uh, I thought, as we have a lot of newcomers uh, to this platform, I thought we'll just take a step back and look at what what is a blockchain and, and why is this important to us uh, today? So really a blockchain does three things for you. Um, it's a place that you can put a piece of history that's time stamped. So when it, it's put in, time stamp it. There's a date on it. Uh, it's mutable, so you can't change it. And it's auditable. So some group of people are able to look at that and verify that record through some mechanism. So those three properties are very powerful when you think about a lot of commercial systems. Like when did you sign the contract? Who signed the contract? Uh, you have identity, um, supply chains. When did it come into port? When did it leave port? Uh, medical records. When did the doctor see you? Is there a prescription? These types of things. Is it a legitimate prescription? The academic industry. Do you have a diploma? When did you get it? Is it a valid diploma? Did you actually take this class? Voting. You say, okay, when did you vote? Who did you vote for? How do you audit the vote? How do you make sure the vote hasn't been changed? Or money. Uh, how much money do you have? How do I know you have it? How do I make sure that you haven't sent the same money to two different people? And so forth. Generally speaking, how we accomplish these product, these problems, uh, you know, solve these problems in the traditional sense has been using a centralized database. That's perfectly fine as long as you trust the database. So uh, the issue is that a lot of these problems from medical records to voting to healthcare to money, uh, the central actors who run them haven't either done the best of jobs or they've done it at outrageous expense to society. So very expensive to send a wire transfer, very expensive to use Western Union, uh, or in the United States, a lot of people think the voting system has problems. So a lot, a lot of little things like that. So blockchain came around and it said, okay, you can do all those things, but you can do those things as a decentralized service instead of centralized, meaning there's nobody in charge. Somehow, some way, the system is able to advance and operate uh, but no central entity is able to stop the system or is responsible for curating it. Well, what makes that so special is that that means the system is really resilient and that also the system is highly likely to follow its original intent in programming. No one actor, the U.S. government or China or whatever, can come in and say, well, it's inconvenient to us. Go ahead and change the system for us. No, it just runs as it was programmed. So Bitcoin, for example, there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. Okay, so the system is built that way. No way to change it. Even if uh, Satoshi Nakamoto came out of hiding or you know from back from the grave, wherever the heck that person is, and said, Let, "Let's go to 22 million," couldn't it couldn't pull that off? It just wouldn't change. So that's really the beauty of of blockchain in that respect. And there's a whole science behind uh, whether a small group of actors can control the ledger or it's permissionless. So permission versus permissionless. The level of auditability the types of transactions uh, that can go into that system. So that's uh, you'll hear a lot like smart contracts uh, versus non-smart contracts. Uh, and also what types of assets can live there. And also uh, metadata and identity. And these are all nuances. And that's why there's over 8,000 different blockchains that are in production right now in the industry because there's not a consensus of opinion about which solutions are, uh, are useful and which ones are not. And our industry is going through kind of a Cambrian explosion of life. And at some point, there'll be a great extinction and we'll consolidate down to a collection of technologies, not hard to say how many, uh, and those will become the backbone in our view of, of the global economy in the next 20 or 30 years for pretty much everything.